Welcome back to Teresa's Dad. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. And if you're new here, welcome. I have an awful, awful garbage mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to say the word as a comma. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul. But I will always remember our time fondly. If you want to jump straight to the overall review of the products, I don't know why you would, but if you do, I'll leave a time code down below. Feel free to jump ahead. Guys, I have a very, very, very special update from our most favorite person in the universe. Good to be home. Uh, by the way, I feel like Kate the Great today. I'm gonna be pairing this video with a shipyard pumpkin head because these are in the fridge and um, they're about to be expired. <laughs> are they? That's what I keep telling myself. Ooh, they're from Rochester. Smoky Glow, I'm coming to see you, girl. I thought this was from Maine. Is this not from Maine? Eh, whatever. Mmm. I had a long day. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Teresa and I'm a garbage person. I had to change my phone number about a year ago because my phone got possessed and just started calling people at random. Anyway, the person who had the phone number before me, her name is Keisha. Now, Keisha hasn't had the best of luck. She keeps defaulting on her student loans. She keeps trying to apply for luxury cars, but ultimately gets denied every goddamn time. Her ex-boyfriend fucked her mama because he ate fried rice. To this day, I still don't understand how fried rice allows you to fuck someone's mother, but who am I? However, that same guy did send me a picture of his dick with an overdue Sprint bill, so that was awesome. Oh, and she had chlamydia. How funny would that be if she actually got it from her mom? Gross, I know. Anyway, I'm also saying had because I'm hopeful that she got that situation all cleared up. I would hate to know that she's leaving a snail trail of green goo every time she sits somewhere. Anyway, I got a weird phone call the other day. Hello? Hi, may I please speak to Keisha? I'm sorry, this is not her number. Oh, uh, are you sure? I will say, no matter how many fucking times someone says that, it still fucking astounds me. I'm about 87% sure. Click. All right. Obviously, he doesn't like jokes. Five minutes later, same number calls me. Hello? Hi, Keisha? Sorry, still not Keisha. Do you know when she will be available? I, I don't know. She went out for a pack of cigarettes and never came back. And that was four months ago. Uh, oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay, nobody likes her. Click. Ten minutes later. Ahoy, hoy. Hello? Yes? Can I please speak to Keisha? What is this for? It's for her financial aid application for flight school. Are you fucking kidding me? This bitch is trying to learn how to fly? Excuse me? Oh, uh -huh. I'm sorry. I forgot where I was. Well, I'm really sorry, but you have the wrong number. I've had this number for over a year and a half. Keisha, I, I guess she must still be leaving this number as her contact number, but this is not her number. She hasn't had it for about a year and a half. This is my number. This will always be my number. Keisha don't live here no more. I see. So will Keisha be available to speak tomorrow? I am so, so sorry. Sorry? Yes. I'm so sorry that you're a fucking idiot. Have a great day. Click. Honestly, I need to find Keisha. And for a hot minute, cause she got into a car accident and I did obtain her address. Unfortunately, that trail ran real cold cause I think she left New York. And it looks like bitch picked up in Florida. So I guess that's where I'm going next. I need to get this bitch on this channel. What's really funny is now I get calls for a new person. And I'm sure it's fucking Keisha's alias. But every day I get calls at least three times a day from bill collectors looking for a bitch named Abrahama. Not even making the fucking name up, Abrahama. And I forgot the last name because I can never fucking pronounce it. But yeah, Abrahama. If it wasn't such a huge pain in the dick, I would change my number, but then I would have nothing to talk about. I pretty much just do this for you guys. Anyway, you're welcome. On today's video, we're gonna be doing another bite-sized review on some various products. We're actually gonna be talking about four different brands in this video, and I'm thoroughly motherfucking pumped. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. And the first product I wanna talk about is the newest collection from Lethal Cosmetics. 
There's no surprise that Lethal Cosmetics is one of my most favorite motherfucking brands. First and foremost, Lethal let me know that they were gonna send me their new collection. But instead of sending me every product, they wanted to know the products that I would personally use, which I thought was really nice considering there is so much waste when it comes to PR. So kudos to Lethal for minimizing the waste and only sending me the products that I will be using. So for today's review, I'm gonna be talking about the palette along with three of the lightest highlighters and two of the most neutral lip glosses. Cause you know me, I am a neutral loving bitch. So let's talk about the palette. The packaging on this is fucking stunning. I just love that rainbow shift. It's so pretty. And this is actually a new kind of palette for them. Usually they have, I believe, like the 12 pan palette. This is a nine pan size palette. You get your nine shades here and you get a nice full size mirror that says, today is a good day to make memories. Oh, how fucking sweet. This is your beautiful color story right here. I've been using this palette for a little while now and it's fucking awesome. I personally love the shit out of this color story and it actually kind of reminds me of an extension of the ABH subculture palette. As for quality, these are on par with the other shadows I have from them in their collection, which now I actually believe I own the whole collection of eyeshadows, which is fucking insane. And honestly, they are my favorite formula of all time. There is some kick up, there is some fallout, but overall there's great pigmentation, wonderful blendability, and amazing longevity on these shadows. And there's also no creasing or fading. I have made countless looks with this palette. I actually brought this palette with me when I went to Houston last weekend, and this was fucking everything. This is, I just love this palette so much. The yellow in this palette is really lovely. Is it my favorite yellow of all time? No, but it is a beautiful sunflower color. My favorite yellow to this date has been Lemon Drop by Colored Rain. There's just something about that goddamn yellow, but this yellow is a beautiful sunflower yellow. My favorite shadow actually in this palette is the top one over here. That's the green shimmer shade, which initially I thought it looked very similar to the shade that is in the Alchemy and Hysteria palette but I'm happy to report back that the green in this collection is definitely more of an emerald green, while that green is its more of like a dark and teal color. The bottom green shade in this palette looks very similar to the olive shade that is actually in the Hive palette. However, that green is more of like a mossy shade, while this one is just a pure swamp creature's dream. Now, what I love about this palette is the fact that you can customize it. So if you don't like all of these shades, for example, you can swap a couple out and put whatever desired shade you want. With that said, this palette retails for about $37. However, if you want to make your own custom nine pan palette, it comes out to about $45.85. If you wanted your own 12 pan, that one retails for a little bit over $58. This is fantastic. I love the shit out of it and I'm gonna continue to use the hell out of it. And I don't know, just, I love it. I love their shadows. They're just so fucking, they're perfection. So the next thing I wanna talk about are these highlighters, which are these little guys right here. So like I mentioned before, I got the three lightest shades, which is the shade Scatter. Ionic and Isotope. So the packaging actually mirrors the packaging that is from the Dream Sign palette. When you open it up, you get a nice little mirror here that says, those who shine the brightest cast the longest shadows, which is fucking adorable. And the mirror is actually really good quality as well. And here is your highlighter. This guy is also cruelty and vegan free, vegan free, <laughs> cruelty free and vegan. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, anyway, this is actually, I think my personal favorite shade. This is Scatter, which is this lovely lavender shade. Oh my God, fuck. Me up, bitch, I love this so much. Oh my God, I can't, I can't even, I can't handle it how fucking beautiful this is. These highlighters are incredibly pretty. They're very powdery though, but very smooth to the touch. These work not only as a highlighter, but they really do make wonderful little inner corner highlights. I've used these highlighters for a little bit now and they are really fucking lovely. What is so great about them is one, they're incredibly easy to use. It doesn't feel like they're sitting on your skin. It actually melts into your skin and they're easy to apply whether it's a fan brush or a dense brush or what have you, or if you're using your finger, the application is always seamless. Scatter, my friend. <laughs> fucking straight alien sex. It has this beautiful lavender blue tone. When it melts into your skin, it's just so fucking stunning. I actually have have it on my face today. Motherfucker is blinding, bitch. I love her. I love her so much. And I would have to say that this lavender color is incredibly unique to my collection. Oh my god, fucking ugh. Fuck me sideways. The other two highlighters, Isotope and Ionic, they're not the most blinding things I've ever tried, and I would consider these highlighters more of a demure alien slut. And lately I have been having a lot of meetings with important people, and while I want to be the center of fucking attention, trust me, I do. These highlighters are the quintessential grown-up highlighter. 
unlike its counterpart over here that is dripping with so much alien secretion. These motherfuckers right here, all about taking 51% of the company and making sure nobody gets anything from her fucking will. And I fucking love that. So if you're in the market for a grown-up highlighter, and when I say grown-up, I kind of compare this more with the Dior Skin Nude Luminizing Shimmering Glow Powder, which is about $48. These are about $18.50 a piece, so you could do the math. I kind of compare those two highlighters with that formula, and that's the Dior one. So it kind of looks very similar in that way these two. And I really, really do love the shit out of this Dior highlighter. Oh my god, they're like the exact fucking match. Holy shit. Found a cheap dupe, y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Lethal Cosmetics. Anyway, I really do love these face products and I'm very, very excited to see what else they're going to be releasing in 2020 and I hope it's more face products. The last two things that I want to talk about from this new collection are the lip glosses. These are also really fucking good. So these retail for about $14 and I just love their packaging. I actually love the doe foot on the sky. So the light brown shade is Nova and the berry shade is Nexus. You know, when it comes to lip glosses, I often favor glosses that are not sticky. And thankfully this gloss is not sticky. There's a light opacity of color. And I think on their own, they're okay, but you kind of really need to put this over a lipstick or a lip liner or even a liquid lip. I really do love the shine of these guys. It's absolutely stunning. I also feel like they have a really good wear down. So I'm actually wearing Nova currently right now, but because I'm talking, it obviously has worn down completely from my face. Unfortunately, it doesn't last very long but the wear down is very nice where it, my lips just feel very very hydrated and I put this lip gloss over a baby bat beauty liquid lip that is one of my favorite called unwrapped I fucking love that shade absolutely adore it and I actually really like the lip gloss over it the lip gloss makes my lips feel completely hydrated which is wonderful other than the fact that I constantly need to reapply them which is not the end of the world because that's how lip gloss always works. They're awesome. They are not sticky and to me that's the best fucking thing in the world. Anyway, this collection I think is super fantastic. Lethal always knocks it out of the fucking park every goddamn time and I really really do look forward to seeing what products they're going to be coming out in 2020. So thank you Lethal for one gifting me this whole collection and uh, kudos to you guys. You fucking did it yet again. I love your fucking faces. So the next thing I want to talk about is actually Alter Ego. So I received this palette in PR, full disclosure. Alter Ego reached out to me, I want to say probably last month or so, and they asked if I would be interested in checking out some of their products. They sent me two palettes, one that was supposed to mimic a Huda Beauty palette and the other one that is supposed to be like the Biba palette from Natasha Denona. So this was hashtag gifted, much like the Lethal Cosmetics stuff. Now with that said, this Aurora palette is a dead ringer for the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. So when you open the palette up, you get this nice little mirror here. And like I said, this is pretty much a dead ringer for the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. Now I hate that Natasha Denona Sunset palette. I, I hate it in its fucking face so fucking much. And the reason why I hate it is because I had a horrible experience with it. I, I suffered an allergic reaction to whatever the fuck is in that palette. That's why I have a love-hate relationship with Natasha Denona. I want to like it, but it fucks me up every goddamn time. But what else is new? In any case, this palette's actually pretty nice. I love the whole aesthetic of the palette and I think for $16 this is totally well worth its money. So these shadows I would say are very pigmented and smooth. I found that there is a little bit of kick up and actually a light dusting of fallout which is really nice. I tried this palette a few times and at first I actually had some mixed results. While I can happily say that I didn't experience any sort of eye irritation, I feel like this palette only really works with a wet base. If I don't set my primer, which I normally don't do anyway, but I really wanted to test it out with this, I had the worst time playing with this palette. I felt like I had to constantly build up color and it was just so fucking annoying. However, with the wet base, I didn't experience that at all. It worked seamlessly and beautifully. It blended out like a fucking dream. But with a dry base, not so much. So that's just something to note. Other than that one time, I really don't have any issues with this palette. Not gonna lie, I don't think I'm gonna purchase any more Natasha Denona palettes if Alter Ego is just going to be duping them. Because I might as well purchase these palettes at a lower price point and actually have a better experience with them. With that said, if you are interested in picking up this palette or checking out their existing palettes, I do have a code with them. I don't believe I make any sort of money from it. It's just purely a code for you to use for discount. And if I am mistaken, of course, I will correct myself, but I'm pretty sure that is the case. So if you use the code Teresa 10 you can save 10% off your purchase. Please note, do not feel obligated to purchase anything. It's just there if you want to use it. So thank you Alter Ego for gifting me this palette and um, I can't wait to see what else you guys do. Thank you.
Actually, before I jump into the next product, the last two bite size videos, I mentioned a brand called Refer Brushes, and I mentioned my undying love for them. I'm happy to report that I'm still motherfucking obsessed with those brushes. So Refer contacted me to let me know that they created my very own special coupon code for this holiday season, which I'm like, bitch, that's so fucking sweet of you guys. Please note that I do not make any sort of commission from this code. This is purely just a code for you guys to save money. And this code is actually only good for one thing. It's for the holiday travel set, which is purchasing 21 brushes that would normally retail for $540. However, they're currently on sale for $340 but with the code GARBAGE100, you can actually get $100 off, bringing it down to $240. And yes, while that is quite a few doll hairs, the quality and the quantity of these brushes are chef kiss fucking amazing. And in my humble motherfucking opinion, well worth the goddamn money. Like I mentioned before, you do get 21 brushes. The set actually only has 20 brushes and the holiday set actually comes in the matte black version, which to me is my personal favorite. They do have another version that's kind of more of like their pro version, which I think is kind of more designed for makeup artists. I personally like the matte black because it just speaks to my little goth soul. So I adore this. But in the collection, you get 20 brushes, but they're gonna be throwing in their giant bronzer brush, which is their P22, which I fucking love this brush. Oh God, dear much. With that said, if you're in the market for trying natural hair brushes, this honestly, I feel like for the value of it is really, really great way to go. But please note, do not feel obligated to fucking buy anything that I'm saying. I'm literally just telling you guys, hey, if you're interested, it's there and I could save you a little bit of coin. But again, do not put yourself in fucking debt for anybody, including myself. Okay, just don't do that. But if you do want to save a little bit of coin and you feel like treating your motherfucking self, please use code GARBAGE100 to save yourself $100 off. So thank you, Refer. So the next product I want to talk about is actually from a more Pacific and it's their Essentials collection. I received this set from Octoly. So this was gifted to me by a more Pacific. Now this is the Essentials collection and I've been meaning to check out this brand because I adore Tatcha so much. So I was looking for an alternative. However, I didn't realize when looking further into this brand that these products are actually more expensive than Tatcha. So that's my fuck up. Some of these products in this collection are okay and some of them are not great. And some of them actually broke me out. So in this set, you actually get a good variety of items. So the first one I wanna talk about is the treatment cleansing foam. So the cleanser's okay. I don't really feel like it was revolutionary by any means. It definitely did its job, but eh, it was okay. Now the full size of this guy costs 50 bucks. I don't plan on ever purchasing the full size, especially when it's just okay. The next product is the treatment enzyme peel, which comes in this little bottle right here. This to me mirrors the Tatcha rice enzyme powder except this bottle kind of gives me the feeling that I'm going to poison somebody. I don't know why, but I love that about the bottle. Does that make sense? Not really. But you unscrew the cap, you open it up, and then you pour. <laughs> that would have <laughs> That would have sucked. Okay, so. Okay, basically you unscrew the cap, you pour out a little product in your hand, you put a little water in it, you start lathering it up, and you massage it into your face, you rub it into your face, I think for about 15 or 20 seconds or so, and then wash your face. I'm gonna find the cap for this, hold on. Okay, we're gonna keep this closed. You know, I definitely like this product. I feel like it is comparable to Tatcha's enzyme powder. From my last demonstration of just opening this fucking product, the cap is a little bit slippery. So my biggest fear is every time when I was actually using it is that I would lose the cap and ultimately just drop the bottle out of my hand. I feel like with this method, you can actually waste a lot of the product. You don't really need that much. So that's why I really love the Tatcha one because there's a very small opening and then you kind of like tap it out into your hand. This one, you could literally just pour the whole fucking thing out. So packaging wise, while this is adorable, it's just not really functional. The next product is this Moisture Bound Rejuvenating Eye Treatment Gel. You know, this was fine, I enjoyed it. I don't know if it necessarily did anything because there was a little bit of product in this, which kind of really sucks. All the other sample sizes, I felt like was a good amount of product. This, not a lot. So I went through this actually really fast. So far, so good. So I think I would consider picking up the full size of this. Now the face moisture, my friends, <laughs> this, this is fucking awful. The smell is on par with old lady pussy. Think of a lady who had one too many Tom Collins and she's trying to fuck her son's best friend at a family barbecue. You know what I mean? That's what this smells like. 
menthol cigarettes and Vagicel. Anyway, I tried to use this product despite the obnoxious smell, but it was really hard. Then I noticed it started breaking me out horribly. So unfortunately this product is just a no-go for me. And honestly, the smell is so bad for someone like myself who doesn't have a sense of smell that that speaks volume. So sorry, bye. The next thing is this Moisture Bound Skin Energy Hydration Delivery System, which is a fucking mouthful to say. Needless to say, I don't really understand this product. It doesn't serve any purpose in my eyes. Like, I spray my face. I don't know if it really does anything. It's just like an extra step to my routine that's kind of annoying, so... Meh. And last but not least, you actually get this sample size of their cushion foundation. Unfortunately, the shade 102 light pink is actually a little too dark for me. So I didn't really get to try it. I only tried it on my hand. It really did feel comfortable though. The coverage was actually like more of like a light to medium. It was interesting. So I'm actually considering trying this product, but uh, I want to get it in my correct skin tone. I want to try it for today, but it's just, it's too fucking pink. It makes me look like um, Porky Pig's girlfriend. So uh, no. We're gonna pass on that. <laughs> Anyway, thank you Amore Pacific and Octoly for gifting me this collection and allowing me to give you a truly no filter review. No hard feelings. All right, so the last product I'm gonna talk about and <sighs> hear me out. Okay, hear me the fuck out. I went to Texas, okay? I went to Nick Snyder's holiday party. I hugged a moist stripper, was served ham and KFC sides drank some moonshine, but most importantly, watch Nick steal my husband. It's fine, Alex is in a better place. As shown to you by this photo. Since I figured I was going to get canceled for going to the party anyway, I figured I'd take my piggy ass right across the way to the Galleria Mall. And in that mall, I went into the Morphe store. Yes, the Morphe store. I took a look around that store and I, uh, I did it. I fucking did it. I hate me too. I'm ashamed. I'm embarrassed. I'm more embarrassed now than singing in my fourth grade talent show in which I sang Miss World by Hole, where I did actually get laughed off stage. True story. I'm more embarrassed now than I was at that point in my life. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have anything for you, okay? I don't have a reasonable explanation other than, fuck it, I might as well just get this while I'm here too. This thing, it's great. <laughs> and I fucking hate saying that, I really do. Considering this fucking woman is an asshole. <laughs> fuck this lady. <laughs> and I mean that in the most sincere way possible. <laughs> I really, really do not like what she did with her whole lipstick gate bullshit. Like that was just really fucked up. And I really swore up and down, like I'm not gonna get anything out of this collection. Like, ugh. yeah, uh, look at me. I'm a flip flopper. I eat my fucking words, okay? Judge me if you need to unsubscribe, I fucking get it. But this palette though, boys and girls and toasters, this palette's awesome, okay? For $49, the packaging is so fucking beautiful. It's bougie, it hurts. You get this beautiful full size mirror. You get this like Becca packaging. <laughs> which is fucking fantastic. But no, seriously, like these highlighters are fantastic and they are so disgustingly blinding. It fucking hurts. Ho hold on, hold please. Let me just show you some live swatches right here. So we're gonna take the color Gleam. The quality of this is unreal. It's just, oh my God. Fuck me the fuck up. <laughs> This is, I can't even, okay? I actually talked about this a little bit on my Patreon live stream. I even told my patrons like, hey, guys, if you need to stop being a part of the Patreon family, I fucking get it. <laughs> oh. Like, it's just disgustingly so wet and alien slut and blinding. It's like, take me to your leader so I could fuck him and his whole fucking family. Oh my God. The formula on this is so fucking cool and smooth and so fucking slick. Oh my God. 
Seriously, fucking bathe me in this shit. And you know what's actually even more impressive is that it's not crumbly, it's just smooth. With the swatches, like there's not really that much product left on my finger. A lot of the product goes directly onto your skin, which is fucking fantastic. Let me just do the last swatch, which is gonna look a little fucked up, but we'll put them over here though. I have to say, I think out of all four shades, like three of the shades are probably like the most ideal for me. The shade Mesmerize, I haven't really used that one too much because I kind I kind of feel like it could be potentially a little bit too dark for me, but actually maybe not, eh, maybe not. That's the only one I haven't really used, but three, these three shades though, pff, yeah, this shade is definitely too dark for me. But fuck though, I can't. I, I, I'm fucking, I, see, I can't even say anything right now. The, I have to say that as of late, this is probably some of my favorite formula that I have ever played with in a highlighter in a while. This is fantastic. It's so smooth. It's so blinding. It doesn't sit on your skin. It melts into your skin. I couldn't ask for a better fucking highlighter palette. I really couldn't. And I know the price tag is a little steep for $49. I'm also that asshole that will buy a single highlighter for $40. So who the fuck am I to say anything, right? Right. They're incredibly blinding. They're long lasting. I actually got some of the most compliments when I was in Houston wearing this highlighter set. They're incredibly easy to use both with a finger or a brush. These fucking highlighters just demand motherfucking attention. I really didn't want to believe the hype because I honestly thought it was all bullshit. And this is all considering how her first launch went. But fuck me, man. Probably one of my favorite things I purchased in 2019. Yeah, I said it. Yep, that's a heavy motherfucking claim and I just dropped it right there. This is how much I'm enjoying this goddamn palette. Who the fuck am I? I know a bunch of you guys are asking me like, are you gonna be revealing it? And I was like, no. Yeah, I'm a flip flopper. What can I say? I'm a fucking bitch. <laughs> I was like trying to be all snarky, but, eh, eh, eh. but no, I fucking got it. I'm, I'm an asshole. I'm a fucking asshole. And you know what? I don't regret a goddamn fucking thing. This is totally worth the fucking money. I can't even believe I'm fucking saying this right now. And I understand if you need to unsubscribe. I hate me too. With that said, that is my bite size review. Let me know down below how disappointed you are with me. Cause fuck it, I am. Holy shit. Seriously, I loved actually all the products today with the exception of the more Pacific stuff that shit was not that great. Um, but everything else was pretty A-OK -okay USA in my motherfucking book. I am gonna continue to drink my fucking beer and uh, have a swell night. So with that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that motherfucking subscribe button cause it's fucking free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Discord, Patreon. On Thursdays, we have a podcast called The Miserable Three. Sometimes I'm on my husband's Twitch channel where I just yell about bullshit on the internet. If you want to check out any of those links along with where to get my merch and what the fuck is on my face, everything will be listed down in the description box below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.